Welcome back to Blast Backstage. We're live from the Kingdom of Bahrain for the Blast Global Finals 2019. And on my left, I've got three members of Team Liquid. We've got Alij, we've got Twist, and we've got Mr. Naff. I don't know why I always want to call you Mr. Naff. I like it, that was good. I'm going to write a song about you over Christmas when I've got too much time on my hands. <laughs> but you might have noticed they, they've lost a couple of members. Don't worry. There aren't more rumours starting because Nitro and Stewie 2 k are over in the Betway AIM Challenge area. They're just getting warmed up because they're going to be working together. They're not going to be working against each other. Don't worry, we're not trying to cause a rift here. They're going to be taking on the AIM Challenge one by one in a relay. And then their times will be added up together. And that is going to go towards the competition between the teams here today. But we're not going to actually reveal who wins. We're going to reveal that on the official Blast Global Finals coverage this week. So you have to sit tight for that one. It's suspense. So you guys got to see it happen live here in the flash and it's gonna happen in a moment. Boys, you've taken on the AIM Challenge this year yourselves. Alij, how did you do? Not very good. Not very good. No. So, in fact, actually, yeah, you were, were you second from the bottom of the leaderboard? No, I wasn't that far down. Okay, <laughs> okay. But what did you learn from that experience? I'm gonna put a positive spin on this. Uh, practice before you go to the test. Practice before you go to the test. Have you given <laughs> the guys any advice? No, nothing. So you didn't tell them to practice? No. Brilliant. Well, I really fancy Liquid's chances in this <laughs> one. So let's get underway. Stewie 2K is going to be kicking things off. Ooh, let's turn our teammate right here. Here we go. Is this live? I'm just wondering, <laughs> is, is Jake going to be noisy when he, when he takes it on? We're going. Okay, three, two, one, go! I did oh, do my part there. Oh, oh, oh starting off with a dig. I like that he's kind of, he's almost running, gunning. He's running, 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 gun. We're doing All right, good. back to the AK. There we go. Yeah, we get it's fine, it's fine. He's I'm, been practicing this. He's almost got the route. Yeah. Yeah, he almost had it. He's suspiciously happy. <laughs> Missing too many one tabs. Yeah, he's not, he's not, you'll, you'll know he's happy when he's noisy, but there's, there's no table hitting going on, there's no whooping. No, I did this on Nick is doing some kind of weird cockney dance in the background. <laughs> Bobbing one, two, one, two. <laughs> here we go, there we go. Look, very nicely done here in the final bit. I'm worried about the reload. Is that coming up quite soon? No, he's got plenty of bullets left. He's absolutely fine. He's going in. Ooh. You know what? That was a lot better than it looked. I'm not going to lie. The execution might have been eh. Here we go. Okay, Nick is going in to start his part of the relay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Very nice and precise. You can see that Jake is more practiced. He's got the route a little bit more down. Yep. He hasn't got the deagle start. No. You say Jake is a bit more practiced on Nick. Yeah. He's got the route down. Here we go. Oh. Yeah. This is the problem. This is the, this is the reload that does catch oh. you up. No! Oh, no! That door will not open until you've got everyone in the room. As Alija, I think you probably <laughs> discovered that when you had a go. Yeah. Okay, here we go. No, Bruno! Jack, what are you doing? Okay. Well, actually, it doesn't look that bad. But look, look at those pearly whites. <laughs> what a lovely oh. smile! One quicker! Go. Use the snowball. He's happy. Baited breath here. Okay, this is not bad. This is no, where are you walking I, towards? I, I, so I said away. not bad, but I didn't say good either. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Oh, and we're missing well, the we last time, time because we're gonna keep it a secret. <laughs> there we go. All right, round of applause to the boys. I bet someone timed it. Twist does not look very happy. Is it because you really want to know what their total time was? No. No. Nick probably got over I, a minute I there. Nick even practice. Nick was yeah. probably like a minute and five seconds. <laughs> were you were you wishing you were there? No. No. Listen, I believe that <laughs> if you if you win you get you get blast Christmas jumpers. What? So to be oh. fair, Ooh. there is a lot of stake. Listen. Yeah, should got me if you lose, they are available at the official blast online store that just launched. So you could actually maybe oh God, there it is. jumpers there. Maybe I'm sh I'm sure we'll send you I'm sure we'll send you some. It's only four teams. That's not many jumpers. It's absolutely fine. Boys, Hello. welcome. Can How I actually doing? see that sweater again? Can you see the sweater? Can we can we put the sweater up on screen, please? The there one we we're go. not going to win. Keep it right there. Yeah. Keep it right there. I got 48 on my first try, guys. Yeah. So look. 48 on my first try. We've got we've basically got Anders, and I didn't say it earlier when he was on the sofa, but Moses on the other side. <laughs> 
<laughs> we, if, if only we'd got some little Anders for him, we could have actually recreated the Christmas jumpers. But sadly, unfortunately, Anders is not with us. But um, again, if, if you've just tuned into the broadcast, Anders, we miss you very much and we hope you're, you're very well. Now, I believe we're going to go to a short break. But then when we come back, we're going to be doing a little thing we like to call Bahrain. And if you haven't looked behind you, gentlemen, well, you probably now know why we're calling it Bar Rain. So we're going to find Rain's arms during this short break, and then we're going to have a few drinks and a little bit of a natter. So you guys watching on Twitch, do not go anywhere. Welcome back to Blast Backstage here in the Kingdom of Bahrain, because we're here, of course, for the Blast Global Finals 2019. And I'm joined by my first team of the day, and it's Team Liquid. I'm really excited to have you here. I always look forward to talking to you on Blast Backstage, because I remember when we, we first did this together in, in Blast St. Paolo, St. Paolo, Sao Paulo, <laughs> and it was a reet laugh. And I wish I could have more time with you. So it's nice to kind of finish off the year with you guys as well. Overall, how have you felt about this year, Elige? Because it's, it's been a proper roller coaster for Team Liquid. Yeah, it's been a really long year. Uh, I mean, we started off the year like pretty good, and then like we kind of like leveled out a little bit. So we kind of want to like win this last event to uh, send off the year uh, like as a, I don't know, just like a Christmas gift. A Christmas <laughs> gift to yourself <laughs> no, and yeah. to your fans. That's adorable. How do you feel about the fact that you pretty much single-handedly changed the meta of CS in the second half of the year by popularizing the Krieg? You made it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, the gun is like still like really insane. I'm surprised that uh, a lot of people think that it's gonna like go down in popularity or anything because it's like still the exact same gun and three hundred dollars is like literally nothing. But did you sort of start to notice other people using it? Because you you were the person who really seemed to mastermind the use of that weapon, mastermind. But you know what I mean. Like everyone saw that what you were doing and how you started to use it in game, and suddenly the AK started getting trading out, traded out. So. Yeah, I mean, I think that definitely, like, when people see, like, how good, like, the weapon is, like, when other people are using, especially, like, the AUG and, like, later on the Krieg, like, they, they see, like, how useful it is to start, like, using that. I mean, the AUG was, like, way easier because it was a way similar spray pattern, but the Krieg was a little bit more different, so people a little bit more, like, apprehensive to start using but it. But for you, though, I'm asking you, Elite, how you felt personally. I don't know. Because you made I it popular. pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> good. Okay, you didn't mind. You weren't just like, oh, they're on my patch now. They're after my gun. <laughs> John, you ruined the Counter-Strike scene, man. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like, gotta do what yeah. you gotta do. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, how did you feel about it now? I don't like it at all. <laughs> yeah, it's all so John's you, fault. So, do you think that <laughs> next year it's gonna change? <laughs> next year it's gonna change. Now, we're gonna get some arms in because it is time for Bahrain. Ooh. The, the serious time is over. We've got the, the question about how Elidra and Counter Strike out of the way. So, now <laughs> we can have some drinks. But Rain hasn't got any arms. So. Oh, Ooh, now we've music. got some arms. It's a Norwegian thing. Talk Gentlemen, have, have some drinks. Someone pass me a blue for liquid. I'll, I'll pass him down. Pa pass me, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take a pink. I'll take, a I'll take the green. Very pretty. All right, keep there we That's go. Let me get that green, actually. The green, the green one makes me think of yeah, mouthwash. Yeah. And but the umbrellas are very blue. cute. The umbrellas are very cute. The blue one looks more like mouthwash. Mm. I guess they all kind of look like mouthwash. <laughs> so re reflecting on this year, guys, the fact that you, you won basically six events back to back in the middle of the year. You won the Intel Grand Slam faster than any team has ever done it before. Okay, it was season two, but they had to change the rules because you won <laughs> it so quickly. So not only did you get a million dollars, some fine gold bars to put in your ceremonial downstairs toilet shelf, <laughs> but you also made them have to change the rules. So with that in mind, regardless of the second half of the year and anything like that, you, you must be feeling pretty proud, Neff. I mean, yeah, uh, with the consistency and like the tournament runs that we had is like something no other NA team has done. So obviously, I'm very proud of what we achieved. Obviously, it's like a little, it's a little sad how how much of a downfall we kind of had recently, or like obviously like the past few months. But we're still trying, we're still working hard, you know. But you know, Counter Strike's a tough game. Yeah. Not an easy, not an easy thing to be doing, you know. And actually, I read an interview with you on HLTV. You you feel like the team is getting back to full power again? Mm, somewhat, yeah. <coughs> I mean, we're definitely better than how we were like the last two months. Um, we're getting out of out of the hole right now, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, I think we're we're still better, or we're getting better as time goes on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But twist, it was kind of the, the player break that was was a bit of an issue for you guys, and, and caused maybe maybe some of the the issues that we saw you face in the second half of the season. But we're about to go into another player break. This is your last event of the year, so what are you going to do differently this player break, or is there anything <laughs> you can do differently? Because I want you to enjoy Christmas as well. <laughs> I mean, individually at last break, I didn't 
didn't really even have time to play Counter Strike. But I don't know. I think the thing was like we didn't really know why we we fell off so hard after the break, and like things just didn't feel the same, and like everyone could really feel it. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, we, we'll see. I don't think it will be like this this time. Yeah. But the thing is, it's it's not just what's happening to, to you guys either. When we look at the, the landscape of Counter-Strike at the moment, there's so many different things going on. There was the... Wh how long was the EG era that we had after ESL New York? We shall not talk about The EG <laughs> era? Yeah, they, that, <laughs> that was like one day, right? Like the 12-hour era. <laughs> one, day, one day max. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then and now Mouseport, they've, they've, they've won the last couple of events back to back. It feels like it's anyone's game at the moment. So, yes, Astralis riding high a couple of wins this half of the season. But at the same time, we don't know what's going to happen here in Bahrain. Stewie, how are you feeling now you're here at the Blast Global Finals? Um... We feel accomplished, I guess. Um, a good tournament to end the year. Hopefully we bring one home for Christmas for the Oregon for us. And we'll see what happens next year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But do you think you're going to win? Um, yeah, I think we do, actually. After what we saw against Miles, against the Shawls, you know, it seems like Shawls has a little, little bit of what we have given to them, you know, the liquid choke. So hopefully um, when we play them, it'll be the same. Well, we know that one of the biggest kryptonites is playing in Denmark, their own home country. This is Bahrain. Have any of you guys played in the Middle East before? I know there's been some tournaments in Dubai. Mm -hmm. uh, no, really. okay. no. So this is a whole new ground. I nearly sang Aladdin then, but I can't because <laughs> copyright issues and no one wants to hear that. So this is, this is going to be a completely new experience for you guys. Uh, have you got any expectations, Alij? Uh, in, in terms of like the tournament or just yeah. like being here? Yeah, and just being here in Bahrain, actually. Have you had much of a chance to look around? Because I know you had to travel over from, from Odenso. You've only just got here, really. Uh, we've been here for uh, just like all of like yesterday, yeah. really. But we checked out like the market that's like right next to the hotel. And I thought that was like pretty cool. It's like having like a, a culture that's like completely different from ours. It's like cool again, like a new experience. Hang on, there's, there's shopping. Listen, I'm not much of a stereotype. <laughs> yeah. I'm quite bad at shopping, but... I haven't had much time to buy Christmas presents. What kind of stuff can you get at this market, please? Nitro, did you go? Uh, I didn't go. You didn't go? I think it was... Um, actually, it I, I, like I think it was... No. <laughs> I mean, is it like a supermarket or is it a market market? No, it's like an actual like, market. Oh. There's like tons yeah. of like shops and like little stores and stuff. And you got me a present? I didn't get even a present for anyone <laughs> yet. Fine, yet. Oh, there you go. Right. I like how you saved that in the last moment. You came up clutch, Elite. Now, <laughs> you might remember... In Copenhagen, we played a little something called the Skins game. Mm. Yeah, I, didn't, oh, yeah. I remember. I did not know what was going on at all. Okay. All these new Well, cases. that was a practice run for here at the Blast Backstage. I'm going to call this show the Global Finals as well. It's the Global Finals of Blast Backstage, everyone. And the Skins Unfolded game. So what we really want from you this time around is we want the name of the skin. You'll get a point for that, and you'll get half a point for the name of the gun. So actually, what we're really looking for is the name of the skin because that's what CS is all about, really. It's about skins, and if you don't put one on your gun before you put major stickers on it, everyone in Twitch chat yells at you. That's something that I've learned this year. Do you feel ready? John is Ready no to skins. rock and roll? That's Russ and Keith. Dude. Yeah, I don't have any skins. What do you mean? You don't? You guys are the no. skin experts. I can maybe know the gun, but I don't have the skin. I hope we know the gun. Well, dude, well, I have the most expensive <laughs> inventory, but I can't even tell which one it is. <laughs> maybe we'll give you an, a bonus half a point for having an extra creative name for it. But if you don't know it, then you can pass. Try your best. And maybe just go for the gun name, because then at least you get half a point. We're not going <coughs> to reveal the scores, though, right now. We're going to reveal those on the Global Finals show itself. So you will have to stay tuned for that one. But... Should we do this? Okay. Ready. Three, two, one. Let's play Skins Unfolded. Ugh. Oh, wait. It's a deagle. What do you mean? Ugh. It's, it's a like a is rail. That? Yeah. Like, uh, rail. Yeah, got it. Some <laughs> sort of rail. That is a deagle rail. Case Wait, hardened. Case, case hardened. hardened. Case yeah. hardened. Yeah, 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 I knew that one. Any type. Yeah, you have to go for your next, next. bailway run here. Case hardened. Is that global warming? No, that's a Pacific Tigris, Ocean. Tigris, I think, right? Tigris stripe? The CZ? I think it's called Tigris. Yeah, CZ. Tigris. Tigris. Whatever it's called. What is that? Yeah, I don't know. I don't even think it's a skin. Move on. Yep. What is that? Well, what? that on, move uh, on. That's my, my Christmas sweater. Back home. Uh, is that an AK? <laughs> move on. I have no idea what that is. is it crim uh, Crimson Web? I don't know. Oh, it's yeah. green. Oh, like emerald, emerald Web. Emerald, emerald Web. web. Yeah. 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 Pass, pass. Or er, next one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What is that? Flubber? <laughs> Flubber? <laughs> <laughs> is that a Robert Williams film? Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> That's what I thought. I don't even know what that one is. How many do we get, at least? These have got to be new. Yeah, these have to be part of the new skin that I've never seen. These are also kind of really messing with my brain right now. It's only a three-hour time difference to the UK, but still, I'm using that as an excuse. She's jet lag. Uh, we don't know how well you did, personally. 
Because we're going to reveal four. the scores later. But yeah, you, you estimate you got four right there, or just you got four points. About we four got four points. right. Also, I'm glad we yeah. got at least a few points. You know, I'm, I'm admiring <laughs> the confidence. I'm admiring the confidence very much. Who's your biggest competition here in Bahrain? Astralis. Nip. Astralis. Nip. Nip. No, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit <laughs> sassy, Jesus. gentlemen. Dude. Now, New Year's resolutions. I want you to give New Year's resolutions, but for each other. For each other? Mm -hmm. What do you think someone else on the team's New Year's resolutions should be? Bruh. Nick. <laughs> Nick. I'll go with Nick. Okay, what, what, what would you like for Nick in 2020? In 2020, I expect eight trophies. Okay. No less. Just from Nick? What about from me? Well, if Nick... Do, <laughs> eight you're doing MVPs. it well. We need Nick to help us get to that next step, you know? I think if Nick becomes less wide, we'll <laughs> get more trophies. Maybe you could become more wide, though. More time in the gym. I mean, you spend a lot of time in the gym, but... I think he needs no. more time at Burger King. Yeah. <laughs> Every team needs one fat guy. And we don't oh, got well, that. Oh, I'm getting there, dude. He's just getting there. You see that extra <laughs> large hoodie? You see him sipping right now? <laughs> so, is this, that's your, so your New Year's resolution for Twist is get fat. <laughs> For, for somebody. For somebody. Yeah. Sorry, okay. I don't know I can't if I really guys. do that. Sorry, guys, I got it. You guys don't have to worry about it. Okay. <laughs> I'm not that selfless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I think you're, you're quite a selfless person, to be honest. Everything you do is for the good of the team. You're even actually, there's something that I noticed, though. You're chewing gum through this interview. Normally, I associate that with when you're focusing hard and you're, you're playing. Why are you chewing gum right now? What are you hiding? I'm what are you focusing on? I mean, <laughs> right now, folks got not chewing, so it doesn't go into the fucking mic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, you just don't have to. I'm, I'm fine with you having gum on the show, and you're being very, very conscientious and selfless by not chewing it hard into the microphone right now. But, but feel free. It's fine. It's fine. We'll do name that chew. We'll lose viewers. Name that chew. <laughs> we won't name <laughs> viewers. They love Five. you guys. Now, <laughs> the other thing is, I have been doing interviews all year. And to be honest, I think I need a little bit of a break. You want me to interview you? I'll, I'm ready. No, uh, nice, Jake. Uh, it was a nice. question. Yeah, yeah, nice, Jake. Give it to Jake. Jake. No, that was actually a tough question. Tommy. Jake, come on, can we do this as Why a team at least, guys? You can do this as yeah, a team. Yeah. 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 You can, if you've got questions for the rest of the team, you can do it. You can interview me. I just basically want you to do an interview right now. What's going on, man? How's it going? Spot. But keep the headsets on, guys, because that that's basically it's a stunt microphone. I'm not gonna lie. Let's go from right to left. Let's go from right to left. Right to left. Uh. No, pass it back. <laughs> go back Can we start here. with uh, back right to left? Yeah, let's go. Front right. Uh, uh, hey, Frankie, how's it going? I'm going good, thank you very great. much. Oh, that's, that's awesome, right on. Thank you. Uh, how have you been enjoying Bahrain? <laughs> I've been enjoying Bahrain very much so far. I haven't seen much of it, but good food last night. Oh, yeah, I saw you are down there. You yeah. enjoyed it? Had a good time? I did. I did have a good time. I'm sorry, I should have come and said hello to you, gentlemen. Instead, I was like, hello, when you walked <laughs> in. <laughs> oh, that's all I got, Russ. Next Wait, he said back. You. Oh, back? Yeah, yeah. No, back what? left to Pass front. Oh, you said back right, right. Got it. to back left. Right. It's question. It's fine. I know it's been a long 2019. It's been a long 2019 for us. I'm sure you travel just as much. Um, what are your plans for Christmas? My plans for Christmas is finish building a house Ooh. and uh, try and fit some Count Strike in. I'm trying to, trying to like go between Count Strike and Dota at the moment. I'm trying to learn Dota because... Um, I'm getting old and my brain cells are deteriorating and I figured that if I learn Dota, it's going to like keep my synapses going. Do you have a New Year's resolution for us? Oh, for you guys. Well, I think that you should have a jersey design and stick to it because it's really <laughs> hard to be a liquid <laughs> fangirl if I don't know which jersey to turn up in. Basically, totally I just, agree. just like when you guys win next, I want to be able to like, um, if I'm like wearing a shirt, like rip it open. Like, oh my God, I'm wearing the same liquid shirt as these guys, like run in and <laughs> lift the trophy. <laughs> <laughs> I just revealed my game plan there. I didn't say that. Forget everything I said. <laughs> Nick, uh, what rank are you in matchmaking? <laughs> oh, going for the juggler. Wow. I am silver too, but I also have a hundred percent win rate on land, so. Nice. <laughs> 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 you have a hundred percent win rate on land. What do you think is the hardest part about being an interviewer? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think the hardest part is, oh, it's, it's kind of changed over the time. I think the hardest thing for me personally was um, when I came in, I was, quite, I was quite hard with my questions and I think finding that balance. And also, like, I remember at, at the major, and that was the second time I'd ever done counter strike interviews, during the exit interviews, like speaking to Russ and stuff, and, and especially uh, speaking to Adrian when he was on phase, 
I found that really hard because I wanted to protect the players because I got to know you all you guys. Um, and now what I, I've sort of learned a way to handle those moments now. So that, for me, that's one of the hardest things because like, genuinely, I like all the teams. So there are certain matches, especially I call heartbreaker matches. And I like all four teams here. So to be honest, whoever plays each other, I'm going to like, when it's an elimination thing, I do get very emotional. Mm. So that's one of the hardest things. It's like not crying when you won Sydney. And, like, and when, when 100 teams got to the final in Beijing, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Not crying. That's the hardest thing about being an interviewer. Oh, I th oh, here question. we go. Here we yeah, go. Pass the mic, bro. I'm in. He's ready. <laughs> so you have a house now. Do you plan on getting a Christmas tree? Oh, if we get it finished on time. I think if I paint it, we can get one in a pot that will live on for another year. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a very small one. It's never too late yes, for a, a tree. A very little one. I've got a little ornament collection that I've been gathering over the past couple of years because I'm in a long-term relationship. <laughs> <laughs> you can just hang up all your lanyards. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. true. Those are, <laughs> those are the ornaments. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Thanks, Nick. Yeah. Have You're you welcome. all got Christmas trees? <laughs> Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Plans, plans for Christmas, guys. So I start with you. Just going home, being back with family. It's been a. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. We've done it. <laughs> <easy. laughs> but yeah, it's been a long year. Uh, I feel like I haven't seen my family in a while, and you know, just gonna go home, eat some homemade food again. You know, yeah. no more on the road, no more fast food. No more Burger King. <laughs> gonna be at home eating homemade food. Yeah, Russ. What my, about you? My plans. Yeah, your plans. Uh, so. I get to decorate my Christmas tree with my mom. Oh. And then oh. it's the first year, actually. I've never got to do it before. Yeah. And then, I don't know. I have, like, multiple things, like, scheduled, mm -hmm. necessary appointments, eye exams, other stuff. Mm -hmm. Have you got a Christmas present? Have you bought all your Christmas presents yet? Uh, we do Secret Santa. You do Secret Santa? Yeah, so we just get one gift. Okay. Kinda. What about, I, I do want to ask, have you got Emmy anything yet? Your lovely Count Strike playing girlfriend? Yes. <laughs> yes, so you've got her something. I You're not going to secret Santa with your own girlfriend? No. Good. That'd Good to know. Up. Good to know. We won't spoil <laughs> what you've got her. You, I, I'd love to see a liquid secret Santa. I feel like we should have set that challenge for today, but I'm going to move on to Naf, your fans. Uh, yeah, no, I'm just going to just go back home and like, see like, my family, you know, like aunts, uncles, cousins and all that, because uh, I haven't seen them like, all year. That's, like, is, Christmas is usually like, the only time where I can usually see people mm. like, that are like, my family, because... You know, most part, we're usually pretty busy doing, just traveling the world, just doing so much stuff. I can't really find the time to, like, yeah. find the time to hang out with them. So, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to that. And do your family understand what you do? Or do you have to kind of explain it every time you, you have a big family gathering? Uh, I mean, yeah, for, like, the most part, like, my aunt and my, like, uncles, they kind of know what I do. Because usually each Christmas, every time I come over there, they're always just like, oh, like, oh, you can travel the world, you know, your game and what you've been doing, what you've been up to, you know, so... Uh, yeah, they're very supportive. They always think it's like very fascinating, you know, what I do. So yeah. <laughs> I'm lucky that I have such a nice family that supports me. Yeah, I get. We've got Entourage Liquid. are just like laughing in the front row here. Nitro. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna relax, <laughs> play with my dogs. I don't know, do some southern things. You know. <laughs> what's, a southern thing? what's a southern Christmas like? Crawfish. Yeah, actually. Yeah, crawfish. It's actually crawfish bowl. chicken of the sea. I'm just yeah. quoting Forrest Gump here, like. Yeah. Crawfish is where it's at. Yeah. Yeah. I had like a fish pie with like crawfish in the other day, but I thought they were like really big and they were tiny. The actual meat's small, yeah. Yeah. But, but they're like, like, they're all shell. Yeah. They're all shell and barely any insides. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like my personality. <laughs> There's just no content here. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm basically the, the cat's right content <laughs> of a crayfish. <laughs> crayfish. <laughs> <Open, sorry. laughs> And for you, what's, what's your Christmas plans? Uh, I'm going to just be going back home for a couple of days. Uh, I mean, it's the same like everybody else. Just like seeing like my family. I haven't yeah. seen them uh, for a really long time. Seeing my dog, which I don't see very often. What's the name of the dog? Yes. Jack. Oh. Ooh. Is my, it Jack Russell? Jack. No, he's a chihuahua. <laughs> After the Titanic. What? I can actually... I can no. <laughs> <literally, laughs> you know how they say like, you, can, you can tell the kind of dog someone would have? Chihuahua. Is it like a long haired chihuahua? No. It's like uh, sh a short haired one. I can just I can see you with a chihuahua. My no, sister uh, went to California and uh, like for school, and then she came back with like two chihuahuas because she just like fell in love with them. She like road trips like back from California to Pennsylvania, which is like the other side of the country, like with these two dogs. Yeah. 
Amazing. Respect. <laughs> if you guys have got questions, because now Liquid have turned into interviewers, they're after my job. To be honest, I think I think these two. I'm going to keep my eyes on you two because I think Me. you got quite into it. Mm, yeah, nice. I was yeah. actually into it for a second. Yeah. Yeah, I I, I enjoyed the questions. They're great questions, guys. But if you guys would also like to have a go at interviewing our teams, then you can. You can send us your questions on Twitter using the hashtag Blast Backstage, and of course the Twitter account is at Blast Pro Series. So make sure you're following the Blast Pro Series account. And I would love to see what questions you've got. If if you've got any for the team as well, then send them our way. And of course, we've got NIP, we've got FaZe, and we've got Astralis coming up Lakewood. So do send us your questions. Boys, is there anything else you'd like to say before I let you, you get away for the last time in 2019? Support Liquid. This is probably the last you'll hear from us for 2019. Merry Christmas, guys. Well, fantastic. Well, don't <laughs> get happy your headsets off just yet because... Before I do let you go, we've got a little bit of a treat because we're going to take a look at your best bits from Blast Pro Series 2019. So, oh, roll big year. Let's see what we got. For Liquid, it isn't enough anymore to be the best prospect, the second best team, the elite tier team, the best North American team. No, screw that noise. They want to be the best. They want to win screw the big that prizes. Noise. I was recognize this. Welcome to the Blast Pro Series Sao Paulo in Brazil. Liquid. I would love it if they've got our interview from Sao Paulo. Is it going to be an Australian yeah, yeah. Liquid? I was yelling in the mic. There it is. <laughs> Just Naf, Naf, and Naf alone. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a highlight. Why is that a highlight? Yeah. What? Come on, on. those are highlights, highlight. guys. Yeah. Classic boy. The low lights, too. Blast. Classic trying to throw us in the three. Don't do that. An emotional roller coaster, guys. Uh, I love whenever we're in America and we're playing in front of our crowd. You love America? Love America. 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 That one. Oh, I remember that. Oh, I remember that. that. Oh, the Ninja <laughs> Diffuse. <laughs> Oh my god. Like Do we really oh have to watch man. this? Oh yeah. <laughs> Do we have to Listen, it's great hair highlights, okay? Difficult to watch if you're a liquid fan, but you win this? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that would be insane. Brush it off easily, but when we lose it, we feel like we really need to take it up, like we're done losing. Listen, that jersey was a highlight. Oh, and also <laughs> the <laughs> Oh, the shaving cream. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> my shaving cream. <laughs> Los Angeles, we're getting live with the grand finals phase taking on Team Liquid. Ooh, and then he didn't expect that. Thanks, John. <laughs> I died there before. <laughs> Did you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's our coach. So, the fun mm. thing for me about watching oh, the game is that if neither Australis or Liquid show up, the whole Counter Strike world <laughs> is going to be asking so many questions. <laughs> We're about oh, to find out what the faces of the year right there. The faces of the year right there. Definitely the second half of the year. Good and that's it, up. apparently. That Read is it. it. Well, we're going to make some more memories. It, it's it's not finished yet. The story's not finished because you could still raise that trophy. And we were watching that, and I was just reminded of my favorite last moment of the year, which is when Stewie used <laughs> shaving cream in his, <laughs> in his Winnebago <laughs> in L.A. And it was a good luck charm. Because it was. You we were won. winning. We were you winning. Yeah. trophy in Especially L.A. Especially at home in L.A. Yeah. I got some shaving yeah. cream in my room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need some. I need some. <laughs> So good luck. Thank you so much for talking to me, guys. It's been a pleasure getting to know you guys this year and can't wait to see what happens here in Bahrain at the Global Finals. We are going to take a quick break, but when we come back, we're going to have FaZe Clan on the sofas and we're going to have a couple of the boys taking on the Betway AIM Challenge. So don't go anywhere. Please.